Hey, welcome back. If you're looking for some holiday cocktail ideas to try at home, we have some recipes for you from Bitter and Poor in Rochester. Getting into the holiday spirit, our Salentia Slavok paid the Rochester speakeasy a visit. Hey, Salentia. Hey, Cami. Well, I am here at Bitter and Poor. Again, I'm trying to get some holiday spirit going on, getting ready for the holidays. I am going to be talking to the general manager, Andrew Ferguson here, who's patiently standing by. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. You getting ready for the holidays? I am. Okay, so what's going on that you have this weekend, the following weekend? Uh, just doing our normal stuff, okay. uh, you know, featured holiday featured cocktails. I have to ask you something. For people who have not been here before, you do not take reservations. Correct. We're first come, first serve. You are, are allowed to book our private event room or, or buy out the whole bar, but otherwise we are first come, first serve. Okay, so yeah. is there a good time to come down here or that's just the nature Weekdays of the... Weekdays and early. <laughs> <laughs> Weekdays and early. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you're going to come on a weekend, you want to get the earlier the better. Uh, okay. We do end up with quite a, quite a wait on the weekends. Well, uh, Josh will take over for you. For right, me. okay, Josh. Yeah, we've got our uh, three holiday feature cocktails right now. Um, I'll go over with you one of them. We've run th at least three years in a row right now. Um, I think drinking this cocktail is a lot like watching Home Alone or uh, <laughs> what's the other one? Die Hard. Great. Die. I like yeah. Die Hard. Okay. So did you come up with this uh, yourself, this drink uh, yourself? I had, I had a hand in it. Um, I would say most of this cocktail came from a former employee, Brian Kettering. Oh. Uh, it is spectacular. Um, and is this a fan favorite, do you think? A lot of folks I think, here? I think so, yeah. We, uh, yeah. These are so busy. These are uh, pre-made. Uh, and a bottle like this ahead of time. Uh, basically what this is, is this is a Tom Collins uh, made with a house-made cranberry syrup and uh, a nice rosemary liqueur. Uh, we call it the Missile Tom. Really? Just, yep. Um, very bright, crisp, refreshing, uh, nice savory notes from that rosemary. Um, like I think oh, look at that. Okay. took the base of the uh, Tom Collins name um, and made it look very Christmassy, almost it's like mistletoe. Beautiful. It does look like mistletoe. Yeah. Yep. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, pretty easy. Um, that was almost too easy. Can anyone yeah. make that at home? I'm just guessing. Uh, top secret for now, but we'll okay. see. Okay, yeah. all right. Maybe we'll show you. <laughs> okay, too. so th again, the name of that one is called? That's called the Mistletown. The Mistletown. Okay, yeah. remember that when you guys come down, you might want to order one of those. I'll show you how to make the next one. Uh, okay. This is called the Coquito. This is a traditional Puerto Rican holiday cocktail. Uh, basically, rum and I call it coconut nog. Uh, you can put egg in here. We opt not to, just for longevity. Got it. Uh, basically, uh, you start out with a rum. I love uh, this new rum called Black Frost out of New Ulm, local product. Um, and it's local. Yeah, I think it's a nice uh, Christmassy name, kind of, with the frost in there. Wow. Now, We're gonna make, how much are you making and for how many uh, <laughs> This will be about three liters, uh, which would equate to about 12 drinks. Okay, 12 <laughs> drinks. All right, Andrew. I think I can. This one gonna have to share that. <laughs> this, <laughs> right. This one you make ahead of time uh, and let the flavors kind of blend together and it gets better and better as you go. Uh, a little bit of vanilla extract. Okay. And again, did you come up with this recipe yourself? No, this okay. is a classic cocktail. Uh, yep, Puerto Rican. Um, right here we have cinnamon and nutmeg. I like to keep the uh, the liquid moving to help incorporate all the flavors together here. Right. I see that. Next, we're going to go in with some evaporated milk. Whoa. Now, is this not too much of a secret because you're sharing it with us? If anyone wanted to try this at home. You okay. can find this on the internet. Okay. Yep. <laughs> this would be like me showing you how to make a margarita or an old fashioned. Got it. Uh, I've got some cream of coconut here. Now, that looks different. Yeah, it's so this, white. yeah, this likes to separate out, so I put it in hot water. Otherwise, it gets very, very clumpy. So I did that ahead of time. That's why it looks clear. Oh. So that's cool, yeah. Let's keep the mix moving at all times. Okay. Now, this cocktail is, uh, as you can see, very uh, creamy, uh, sweet. It's got some nice spice notes with the vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And that looks like condensed that's milk. That's condensed milk. Okay. Yep. Sweetened condensed milk. Yeah, there's a lot of milk going on there. Yeah. <laughs> and one more, and then we're done. Wow. I can see how it would taste. I haven't tried it yet. Egg, yeah. Eggnog-ish, yeah. I guess yep. I could say. Yeah. Like a tropical version yeah. of eggnog, yeah. for sure. Here, this is warm. We're going to chill that to serve it later, but I've got one to show what the final product looks like. 
Oh, great. So it should be chilled. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, you can make it stored in these bottles. This will keep weeks and weeks. If you put an egg in there, I would drink it sooner than later. You just pour straight out of the bottle. This is a very easy one again. Uh, if you're having a holiday party, this would be a great one I to do. I was going to say, that looks like a great time. gift too. Oh, yeah. Like you can oh, make yeah. this and put it in one of those bottles yeah. at any craft store. A little gold dust on there. What? Look there. at that. <laughs> gold dust? You can put cinnamon in there if you like. Um, if you serve it on ice, it'll hold that better. Um, but there's the coquito. Coquito. Yeah. Those are beautiful. Absolutely. They're almost too beautiful to drink. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to try it. Got one but... more special one for you. Okay. Uh, this we call chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I like the name already. Yeah. This is an old fashioned. Uh, we're going for house bitters. Okay. And a little bit of walnut. We've got a nice another local product, the uh, Tattersall um, High Rye Bourbon uh, bottled in bond for a year. And it's local. That's great. Yep. You guys are using local products. Yeah, we try to use a lot of local products whenever we can. All right, we're going to add ice and stir. Now, again, is this your rec recipe this is a, or something? This okay. is a signature house recipe here, okay. yeah. Now, is it just you, Josh, working the, the bar? You've got to have help we, on the we have We have lots of helpers. Okay. I was uh, going to say, if you have to uh, make all these. <laughs> a lot of people comment when I'm here past, even past open now, they say, oh, you're finally working. Huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, Andrew's joining us now. So we're going to use some pyrotechnics here. Uh, I've got a chestnuts roasting on an open fire. You're not kidding. Look how beautiful that is. That is impressive. And look at the ice. It's, it has the, uh, is that the logo on Bitter there? What is that? Yeah. Bitter and we pour on the ice. Look at that. Ice here. Uh, I've got our logo on there. Uh, we can cut any size we want for any glass we have. Call this a butter stick. It looks like a stick of butter. That's when you can really smell that. A little oh. bit like uh, lemony, and it's you know it smells like a roasted nut for sure, almost like a like my grandpa's chimney in the basement. Right. I think, yeah, <laughs> missile time, coquito, and chestnuts roasting on an old fashioned. You guys, this was great. This was really great. Thank you so Thank much you. for sharing some holiday spirits with us. Really appreciate it. You bet. I'm gonna kick it back to you guys in the studio.